All right. Welcome. My name is Divine. Uh, this is a quick announcement podcast. Uh, this is an announcement for my social sciences and ethics class. It's a new class that I'm starting next year. It's actually going to be starting in January. Um, the thing is, a uh, very big component of the USMLE exams, really for the last year, year and a half, has been this big focus on social sciences and ethics. In fact, most people that take the exam, about 15 to 20 percent of all the questions that they see are based on social sciences and ethics. And the thing is, many people, the way they've learned this material is to say, oh, let me just review the concepts. Let me read notes on the concepts and whatnot, and I'll be fine. And the thing is, at first, when the USMLE started, that that was more than enough to get get you by. But the USMLEs have changed quite a bit over the last six to seven months. These days, they pride themselves in designing scenarios that really try to get you at at your ability to use these concepts in problem solving. So it's not enough to just know the concepts. You actually need to be able to use them to solve problems. So that has been the disconnect for many people. And you see many people, they say, wow. Man, Divine, I find these questions to be really hard. I don't know how to deal with them. Because basically, the MBA means they want to see, they they, they know you've learned the information, but they want to see, can you use this information to make clinical decisions? Can you use it to improve the reliability of an organization? Can you use it to reduce medical error? So in view of this, I've created a class that addresses many of the concepts that are tested in social sciences and ethics. But the class is different in the sense that it does not just come and throw concepts at you. No, the thing the class will throw at you are scenarios and clinical cases. By using these scenarios, by using these clinical cases, you will get very good at reading into a question, seeing exactly what they're looking for and picking the right answers to questions, knowing how to manipulate the concepts. It's almost like you're giving word problems that will force you to think and really work through these topics. In fact, if you've attended any of my review courses, like my biostats class, for example, you'll see that, oh, I don't really just throw formulas at you. No, I give you scenarios that really force you to think about the information. So what are we going to be covering in this class? Uh, It's a five-hour class. We're going to be covering medical ethics. We're going to be covering communication and interpersonal skills. We're going to be covering death, dying, and palliative care. We're going to be talking about the physician-patient relationship. We're going to be talking about quality improvement. We're going to be talking about healthcare systems and patient safety. And then we're going to be talking about healthcare policy and economics. I'll integrate these different topics over the course of the five hours. So when does the class start? Well, or when is the class taking place? It's taking place on the 12th of January, on the 12th of January, 2023, from 4 to 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. That's going to be from 6 to 11 p.m. Eastern. And there'll be ample time to answer questions during the course. I will devote a decent amount of time to take and answer people's questions. And the course, who is it intended for? It's intended for people taking step one, step two, or step three, or complex level one, two, or three. So if you want to sign up for the class, go ahead and shoot me an email through the website. I'll give you some more information on the class, and you can go ahead and sign up. So thank you for listening to me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. God bless you. Bye for now. Thank you.